it was like, uh, what are the a tumbleweed? <laughs> it's like you put tumbleweeds yeah. in a bowl. It was so huge. What the hell? <laughs> Why do they do that? Why don't they just make smaller shredded weeds? I think they it looks do like that. <laughs> They put two things of ramen in the bowl, but it's not the squiggly noodles. They just tied it around. <laughs> it's really like eight, eight <laughs> inches by six inches of shredded wheat. Maybe you're supposed to throw <laughs> one cube in there and like tear it apart. Like Stab it. <laughs> you know? Stab the shredded wheat. Shut up. It was so <laughs> <of> shredded wheat. <laughs> <laughs> That's an F tier. Even the dogs don't like it. <laughs> Alrighty, um, cornflakes. Cornflakes is a solid C. Oh yeah, and it's a C because I can great, do it. But they're better than shredded wheats or creepies or whatever they were calling. <laughs> creepies. Cornflakes <laughs> is the anti-masturbation tool of the early nineteenth <laughs> century. Why? What? Well, I made up the nineteenth century part. We're going to talk but... about how uh, cornflakes <laughs> saved my life in seventh grade. <laughs> Why? Did it keep you from masturbating at the teacher openly? Holy shit. <laughs> they just like crush it up and sprinkle it on your dick so you <laughs> get rubbed raw. I don't even remember my seventh grade teacher. That's the weird part. Um, no, so to just jump off of it for a second, a man created cornflakes. Dr. Kellogg in- introduced cornflakes in hopes that it would reduce this this dyspepsia. Betsia, and according with the practices of Seventh Day Adventists, masturbation and excessive sexual intercourse. The flakes of grain, which the Kellogg's brothers called grainos, were a very popular food amongst the patients. So it was huh. actually introduced as an anti-masturbation cereal, and it was almost like um, um, a medicine. So we can well, maybe we talk Dr. about that later. We know Dr. Harvey Korn Kellogg had problems because he had eight adopted children. Well, they even like they it even goes into like him and his brother actually split up, and the other brother took the took the ingredients and actually made, made it a million dollar you know a billion dollar frost, company. He put frost on them, yeah. and his brother's like, "What are you doing? You're killing the youth." <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What else you got, Alex? Right, let's go with um. Let's do some Sour Patch Kids cereal. I've never had them. It sounds nasty, actually. It sounds pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Mm, let me have some <laughs> sour water, sour milk. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know what's going to be good? We like cereal with milk. Let's make sour milk. <laughs> you gonna go D tier on that one? Yeah. Yeah. That's unrankable for me. Almost like F. All right. We'll go E. Let's okay. We'll we'll jump to some. We'll do like a couple more. Um, fun ones, cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, that's a that's a top tier for me. I never really ate it. I don't. But really I, like I cinnamon. remember. I, I that makes me remember the uh, cinnamon toast crunch joke we used to make, Thomas. What was that? Uh, oh yeah. All right. So yeah, I think it was uh, <laughs> in band class. Yeah, I think it was Terry Shivo, maybe in a persistent <laughs> vegetated state. But does she know why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I know, but I remember that. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Poor old Terry Shavo, R.I.P. Rip. Yep. That's a tier. I mean, Simpsons Crunch is a tier. Yeah, right? it's a good cereal. I like acknowledge it, but I didn't. Pe- it. People like it. I don't really care for cinnamon, so I'll Dude, rank it high just because other people like it. It's really good. I will Be- gag down that milk afterwards. Like if it's, it's like- nothing but milk and that cinnamony stuff, okay. I'll gag it just, down like I'm it's a huge chug cock. Chug it down. I'm How's that sound? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna give that, it. How's that like, milk sound? I'm gonna give it most on Oh. That is I'm how it would sound. I'm going to give it the other tier. cereal. Yeah. <laughs> that rivals that for me is Golden Grams. Nope. Still mm, no, no, no. I not for Golden me. Grams. I can't. What? Yeah. I love Golden Grams. I'm still waiting for my cereal. So we'll but give isn't, Golden Grams a C. Okay. Golden Grams is almost like a graham cracker. Yeah. 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 Except I love with them. honey. I say, Golden Grams. Doesn't that have, that have the bear on it or the frog? 
That's uh, Golden Crisp. I thought the bear oh, was – no, wait. Which one was Smacks? That was the frog. That's Diggum Smacks. That's oh. the – yeah. Oh. That's the frog guy with that backwards red hat. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's go – okay, okay. Uh, let's do some Frosted Flakes. Ooh, I like Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes are good. That's like an A tier for me. Yeah, Frosted Flakes are good. Um, They're good. You got to eat them quick, though. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, probably a C, though, for me. I put Raisin Bran above it. I put Raisin Bran uh, at, at an A. Yeah. Blasphemy. Yeah, I'd rather have right, 20 uh, bunches of oats over it. <laughs> rapid, rapid Fire. Okay. Fruit Loops. Uh, C. Fruit, Fruit Loops is a C, yeah. It's just, yeah. C. Is that your last one? No, there's Rapid Fire. Okay, cool. Uh, Lucky Charms. Oh, I never C. had them. I never really had them. S tier. S tier. D tier. Lucky Charms overrated. S tier. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, let's do Oops All Berries. Never no, heard just, of no. it. No. Uh, re- re- reject it. F tier. I, I reject I don't, it. I don't like berries. I reject Oops All Berries. <laughs> All right. That's just, okay. We made that one. Apple Jacks. Uh, never really tier. had them. I think I was a poor kid when it came to a cereal. <laughs> All right, cereals. Oh, you had, you had, you didn't have, you, you couldn't get tricks. You got pranks. Uh, <laughs> let's go with <laughs> <laughs> cookie crisp. Cookie crisp. No, that's just that's just cookies and milk in a bowl. <laughs> that's yeah, that's just like a B for me. I that's never had it a like, lot. Oh, good. Again, right, uh, Reese's Puffs. Good. I mean, it, that's a yes. That's a D or that's a C for me. It's a B because it's not Captain Crunch Peanut Butter Crunch. Fruity Pebbles. I F. had them. I remember yeah. thinking they're not F. that great. They're like a you don't like fruit. That's don't a like fruit. D tier like for me. Uh, y'all are crazy. It's like a B. The milk is really good in that's Fruity Pebbles. It's like Apple yeah, Jacks. F- y'all are a bunch of losers. Like I would I, drink uh, some. Let's go with. Uh. Count Chocula. Oh, Damn, I was... Can't, S, yeah. S-tier. 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 I was glad you said that. I would slurp down that milk, too. Yeah. <laughs> no. Count Chocula is good. That's uh, that's like a C-tier for me. Yeah, that's I'm like not a big... I got a big chocolate milk kind of guy. Like, chocolate yeah. cereal guy. Count Chocula, but now they don't that's my, sell that's it. That's my shit. They sell it at Halloween. Yeah, but I don't think it's the same recipe. It's close enough. Okay. Is there a cereal I didn't mention that y'all would like to say? Captain quick? Crunch, Peanut Butter Crunch is S-tier. Okay, that was, that was my next. Okay, peanut butter crunch. Well, there's frosted mini wheats. That's an S tier for me. Oh, okay. Wow. What? You just throw out that that six <laughs> times eight inch frosted square and enjoy it. <laughs> I like the big squares, but I like them frosted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they get when they absorb all the milk and get soft, that's when it's the best for me. Like a limp biscuit. That's just eating grainy <laughs> spaghetti at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Frosted grainy spaghetti. Limp right. biscuit. Frosted, Frosted lim- grainy spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Got this spaghetti on All your right. sweater already. Frosted last, grainy okay. spaghetti. <laughs> last last one. Cocoa Puffs. Oh, uh, that's an A. That's Again, an a for me. not big on the chocolate cereal, so we'll give it a C. Well, I'm at a C as well because I didn't get it a lot. Right. That's a, that's I, a I ate it growing up. It was pretty good. See, my favorite is <clears throat> ma- um, cho- uh, the magic Giant frosted, frosted uh, the magic marshmallows. What the fuck am I having a spasm for? What are you talking about? For? Lucky Charms? Lucky Charms. What's yeah. so good about Lucky Charms? It's just marshmallows and grain cereal. It's a pagan yeah. cereal. You can the marshmallows actually- are good, but... The lucky part, the charms are good, but the lucky part sucks. You don't get lucky with that shit. You get fucking it's the, it's, belly fat. It's Kashi Goling with, mush, with uh, marshmallows. Yeah. Now, lucky charms, but it's oops all marshmallows. That's good. See, yeah. that's just eating sugar. That's not even <laughs> grains. There's <just, laughs> yeah, nothing good. wrong with that, Chris. There's oh, nothing wrong with that. So you can buy a whole bag of, of marshmallows. marshmallows for two ninety five. <laughs> oh, that's a Dude. deal. Yep. It's an eight ounce bag, so not real big. I'm looking at like some dead cereal brands from the '90s. Oh God, you can buy these marshmallows off of Amazon straight from there Afghanistan, was, people. Kellogg's <laughs> cinnamon mini buns. This stuff is terrible mm-hmm. for you. Cinnamon yeah, so. pebbles, Urkel O's help Urkel find Laura. <laughs> Pretty solid tier list there, Alex. That was a good one. Oh, breakfast bears. I remember breakfast bears. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast bears? Teddy Graham's I, breakfast bears. I'm just, I had this I'm as just a kid. 
but I'm just blown away how big the shredded wheat bars are. <laughs> like I never <laughs> seen anything like that. I wish I could have One experienced thing that. <laughs> Ooh, was I feel you like guys, you'd have to pull apart like two pieces of plastic and like take that out of the plastic like lunch meat to get to those. I don't know why they'd even be in a box. <laughs> hey, Alex, did you say Apple Jacks? Yes. Yeah, okay. he did. We put and it down. Was it French Toast Crunch? Do you remember that one? Oh, I remember French oh, I, Toast I like, Crunch. I do I remember like that. One, that. Nice. You got Cocoa well, Pebbles, you got Nutter Butter. Cocoa Butter. <laughs> That's for something else. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's the what's the uh all right. Butter truffle butter. Yeah, dude, take truffle you butter. some make you some hemp butter and put it on your uh frosted flakes down there. Get you some truffle butter and put it over those uh big old mini wheats and you'll forget about all about how bad. <laughs> That's what suck. I was thinking. Yeah. Truffle That's butter. Like, all right. Terrible, um, but I feel meaning. good about it. I feel good about it. Um do you guys right. know the Urban Dictionary truffle butter meaning. What does no. it mean? Pretty sure, pretty sure we do. What do you guys? What do you think it is, Alex? That's the um, the stuff that comes out of the lady when you're going in and out, right? Uh, no. Well, you you are on you you're on the right path. You're on the right it's path. It's a song by it's a song by Nicki Minaj. It's actually a song about from a few. Of the rappers like Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, but uh, yeah, I fucked her so good she made truffle uh, butter. I, Tell us, inform us. Oh, oh am I, I breaking read, up? Yep, I just read I looked, it. Yeah, I looked at the Urban Dictionary. Alex was really close. The shit, the remnants of shit mixed with pussy juice that forms on the lips of the pussy, bro. That's... I just ate the truffle butter like Nutella. Mm. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> So, with that said, do you guys want me to go into my story here? Do it. All yes. right. This info comes from Ranker.com by Laura Allen. Um, I, I got to give credit where credit's due. So, this is a story that happened in 86 and went on for, I think, two years. And it's about a man named Danny LaPlante. <clears throat> Danny LaPlante reached out to a girl named Annie Andrews, and he asked her out on a date she said yes because he said that he went to her school and she was beautiful, and so she fell for it, and so they went out for ice cream. She didn't like the date, so she she did not go on any more dates. But Danny was was planting a seed that would uh, bloom a little bit and blossom into something very very dark. Um, the reason that Annie kind of grappled onto him at first was because her mother had died. So they their whole family was going through a lot of grief. So okay. she had a sister and a dad, and they had lost a mom. So I think Danny knew this, and he had a dark uh, a dark plan. So um, the and they're gonna the fa- the mother had died only a short time ago, leaving her, her father, and young sister alone. So grief stricken, the two girls held a seance to try to contact their mother. Little did they know that Danny had already broken into their home and taken up uh, a secret spot. So when the seance started, LaPlante recognized an opportunity to torment the girls. He began to bang on pipes and knock on walls, at first entrancing the girls and then terrifying them. Mama, is that you? Is that you? (laughs) So... Uh, he wasn't satisfied with just making noises. One day, Annie and her sister heard strange noises coming from the basement, so they ventured downstairs and encountered um, written on the wall what with what looked like blood was was a message that said, "I'm in your room. Come find me." So obviously, the girls ran from the house to find their father, and uh, he found that it was ketchup. Um, they still oh. couldn't find anyone in the house. Uh, and, I would have uh, been looking around. <laughs> yeah, Fuck right? That. Like, Fuck that. Alex, you go into your bedroom and you find on the wall, written in blood, come at me, bro, uh, with what later you found out was actually ketchup. Um, that's not something that you would probably just put away and, and, and rest easy knowing that it wasn't Taylor, but someone wrote that on your walls in your room, right? Yeah, I just thought you can have the house later. <laughs> really? You wouldn't Bye. even try to get to the bottom of it. I mean, 
Bye-bye. Do you, do you think it was a ghost? Is that what we think? <laughs>